Hey, it's you Kelly here, just answering some of your questions about euhenoides and Liberica. All right, so we're gonna start off with processing of euhenoides. I wanna split them in two because the species are very, very different to Liberica. Uh, so these little guys have a very small and delicate cherry. You have to be really careful with the way this is processed. If you process it just as a straight natural, uh, it can get contaminated really easily. Uh, so that fruit pulp, the internal, can get exposed to um, contaminants. If you do it as a washed, you often get a lot of savory qualities uh, and some of the stranger side of the species can come through in the cup profile. We decided to do anaerobic whole cherry. With the addition of cultures, we really cleaned up the flavor profile. Uh, so this is boosting fruit character. Uh, and managing the contact time or uh, the time of fermentation to increase acidity quantity. Because euhenoides has lower chlorogenic acid, you don't have the acids to, pop up, uh, to prop up the fruit acids. By extending out that time within reason, you can bring in enough of these processed acids like lactic uh, and things into the middle palate of the coffee. So this will lift up fruit flavor. So now processing of Liberica. So this one is a really challenging one. Uh, Liberica is known for being pungent in its flavor profile um, and having these sort of smoky, uh, real cedar characteristics. The bean is extremely big next to this Arabica. So as you can imagine, the cherry is huge. It has twice the sugar. The skin is super thick. So it reacts very differently to processing. We were really careful with managing from picking to processing, the time it takes, how those cherries are stored, and then getting it into the right environment quickly. So not having too high a temperatures, uh, but then also um, considering that the cherry structure is very different, changing the fermentation to suit it. So there's a lot of sugar in here. There's a lot of fermentation mass. If you go really short time frames, you barely break down any mucilage. You don't develop the flavor to actually penetrate that huge seed. This one was fermented for 20 days in controlled conditions with controlled temperatures. Uh, and then it's dried in a, as a natural with humidity control. So humidity is a huge issue again in somewhere like Malaysia. Uh, it can get up to 90, 100% humidity at night. So yeah, it's, it's a hard one, but the Libericas that Jason Liu is producing now are really incredible. People ask me a lot about what euhenoides actually tastes like and if there's more to it than just sweetness. Um, so yes, there is. I mean, sweetness is the first thing that most people notice. Usually kind of artificial, uh, almost like stevia quality. But some of the other characteristics in this coffee, uh, for me, are more important to the cup profile. Uh, so when we tested volatile aroma compounds, we found that this species had a broader range and higher quantity of a volatile aroma compounds. It's a, it's a larger potential than what we know from Arabica. This coffee is like a kaleidoscope. The same lot, processed the same way, roasted on two different roasters, can give completely different flavor profiles. It ranges dramatically. So within the fruit spectrum, um, you can get berries, stone fruits, tropicals, but the tropicals might be yellow sometimes. Uh, but then you can also push into pink and purple flavor profiles. Even within the florals, we've had complexity as well. So I've had anything from honeysuckle, um, oolong tea, violet florals, I've had rose. Uh, these, this coffee can give it all. And it sort of depends on roast profile, the age after roast, how it's processed. Um, it can be extremely variable, even within the same farm, different plots. Um, so I guess I haven't quite figured out what the flavor profile of euhenoides is other than something that is absolutely crazy. So thanks for sending those questions through. Uh, if you want to know anything more about euhenoides, uh, my buddy Lance Hendrick has done a really cool video on this a little while ago. So go check that out if you want to know some more. Otherwise, we'll see you soon.